What's up and welcome. Make it song rear. Today is the Ice Dungeon Day. What's up, T? Weird noises. Clicks. What's up, man? How's it going? So I'm working on the Ice Dungeon today, and I started playing around with the, um, the width of the walls, like the thickness and everything, and it's really got me some with some interesting ideas I want to try out, um, making all sorts of areas like this, with different widths. You're reworking graphics? Cool. What's up, Arcane? Yep, I'm early. I'm early. So as you saw there, I was working on the wall widths and stuff. So I'm just like playing around with wall widths and working on the ice dungeon. Like I'll be working on more enemies and stuff. Later, not this stream. I probably won't do any new enemies this stream, but uh, maybe tomorrow's stream. No, wait, I'm not doing a stream tomorrow. Tomorrow's party day. It's Saturday. It's 4th of July here. In the United States, 4th of July weekend. So, yeah, I'm playing around with these wall widths and uh, let's change the thickness back to something a little more reasonable here. What's up, Vegas? So we got some thick walls, but this is still going to cause a little bit of problems here because... Whoa. <laughs> These bombs falling down are fear bombs for some reason. Oh, because I have fear bombs. It's weird. <clears throat> but yeah, so you can see that like the wall right here is covering up this door that needs to be fixed. and. Um, the glowing lights here need to be moved in a bit, so everything needs to change if the wall thickness changes, so that's what I'm working on this stream. Wall thickness and being able to play with it so much that it can make like the walls super thick in some areas. Like, check it out, this is the max thickness, 5, and this will make the room tiny, basically. You know? so this is pretty neat. It really, it really makes the dungeon feel different with the different wall thickness, and I can see lots of lots of rooms being, you know, some of them being quite interesting to be small, maybe some of them being quite interesting to not be small, and then that also opens up the idea of making more like junction style rooms, like little L shapes and things like that. So just really giving all these dungeons different feels. This is the ice dungeon. I want it to feel different. That's. That's the biggest thing that's um, that I noticed during my latest playthrough of Songbringer is that it didn't feel different enough for me yet. The fire dungeon's gonna need some refinements to re refinements. It'll need some refinements to look like to, to feel more like its own unique dungeon. It'll need more enemies and things like that too that are also unique. So I'm trying out some since I'm doing the ice dungeon this week. I'm trying out um, just playing around with the feel. Um, first. First of all, the feel. I want this to just, like really be a different dungeon. So, this wall thickness is actually a really just accidentally good idea. It's really helping to feel make it feel different so fast. So I'm gonna turn this wall thickness back down too and just play around with the algorithms and stuff that make the make everything. What's up Red Sands? Welcome, welcome! Welcome to the stream! So, I'm moving all these variables off to using x min, x max, y min, y max, which is based on this data, the wall thickness data. So, if y is greater than or equal to height 4, that used to be 3. Hold on. So 
this used to be 1, use this used to be 2, this used to be 0, this used to be height minus 3. That helps me kind of see that at a glance. Okay, so this is height minus 4, that's just y min minus 1. xd is greater than 3, okay, that's the delta. What's up, what's up, what's, up? what's going on in your world, Red Sands? What are you doing, man? What you doing? Height minus five. Oh, this is Y max. Y max minus two. This is y max minus three. You're playing RuneScape? Nice. What are these ground tiles? Hey, that looks cool. I like it. Good texture. Yeah. Nice level of everything it would be nice to you know see some characters too to be able to compare how much contrast really there is in the overall image but i think you're start you got a good start there with the saturation and the brightness and everything looks good this is y is less than or equal to Y min plus one. Y min plus two. All oh, these are all just okay. Jutting y equals three. That would be y min plus three. Hmm, all these XDs and YDs need to change, actually. Yeah, nice, man. Yeah, it looks like a great start. Game Maker got expensive. Really? It was like eight dollars a while ago or something. So that was some kind of sale. Where is Badfu? Where art thou, Badfu? You was a while ago? Okay, these walls, these little bits aren't going to work at first, and these bits aren't going to work either, all these XDs. So I'm just not going to worry about that at first. I'm going to work on these openings next. Actually, let's see what we got so far. What are those? Kind of. It's 
just got blocked in right here. Okay, so we'll set this to x max minus one. This one x is less than or equal to x min plus one. This one's height minus three, which would be y max. All right, Red Sands, see you, man. Y2 is going to be feels weird, but I guess it's Y min plus two. All right, let's try that. Mm, nice. Yeah, so now the openings for the walls are working. start to look right. Oh yeah, yeah, I was I was showing this right here. This is what I'm working on here is the wall thickness. So check it out, uh, that, that was wall thickness two. This right here is wall thickness five I'm about to show. So see how this is wall thickness five where everything is like really, really tiny. And I think this could make for very interesting ways to make the dungeon feel different without really changing that much. Yeah. Um, so yeah, this is the, I'm working on the ice dungeon and this is um, what I was saying earlier was that basically when I played through, um, my latest playthrough, I realized that the fire dungeon doesn't feel different enough for me yet. So I want the fire dungeon to feel a lot more different, but um, I gotta start working on the ice dungeon first, so I might as well make the ice dungeon um, just like already feel different, you know? And to change the wall width makes the dungeon feel different quite quickly, so that's what I'm working on right now, is playing around with wall widths. Thicker wall widths can make rooms feel smaller. Um, I want to try different shapes as well. So this is like, you know, these little junction shapes look pretty interesting like this. And might as well have more of them. It's pretty interesting to have those shapes. And like a shape like this, this little dead end shape is really neat. And it feels like a totally different dungeon because of these shapes. <laughs> Okay.
Okay, I want to do something else really cool. Yes, yeah, of course. The wall thickness will totally break the, the layouts of rooms. But that's what that's the, what the point is. The dungeon is supposed to be and feel completely different. So it might as well break it now. You know, got to break it, fix it, make the feature, make it, make it so I can change it with data, but still have a real, like a totally different feeling just with one number. Or, or a range of numbers, you know, like rooms might have this kind of thickness, you know, maybe this to that. Sometimes rooms were just old, like, you know. <clears throat> Alas, what's up, salad dogs? Welcome, welcome. So there's two things I want. I got on my mind right now. First is to make it so there's these layouts for the rooms are smarter so when it like this room we were in for example where was that crossroads the room So this one right here, this is a pretty good example of what I want to do next with this is like um, around the edges of a room like this, this is um, salad dogs for just for your benefit, just joining, I'm, I'm working on wall thickness. So I'm changing the thickness of the walls and playing around with the algorithms just to make things more a little more flexible. So we can just change this wall thickness. Um, so around these edges of this room right here. I'm gonna make the algorithm. Oh, whoa, you got stuck in the wall. Make it so like these pillars right here don't get placed, or they they do get drawn and placed and all that. But then there's a part of the algorithm afterwards which goes and clears around the walls so that you can at least walk around. It needs to be before it places the gates. Yeah, it does. It definitely does. And it's also quite inspiring for some weirdness, like, or like some, just some, some different shapes than you've ever seen really in Songbringer so far. So far, Songbringer has always been this big room. Every room's been about the same size. This really helps it make it feel different quickly. And, and also you can, you can do some radically different shapes, like maybe just a triangle shape. Like the whole room is just a triangle. You know, this could be really, really flexible and add a lot to, to uh, the feeling. Let's create maze you want create dungeon Z. Convert walls, I guess that's a pretty good place to do it. And it is right before it does add gates. So does it convert walls here? Yeah, that's only in the dungeons anyways. That's good, okay, convert walls it is. Convert walls. After Oh, this is a pretty good place to do it. Yeah, they've been very Zelda one, totally. Which is great, but it's also kind of limiting, you know, it's, it's kind of nostalgic and awesome, but it's also, you know, you might as well have it that way for one dungeon or two dungeons or three, maybe, but the other ones, let's, you know, let's make it feel a little bit unique.
This is guy bush return. Oh, convert walls. Yeah. Tile is not equal to K. Wait. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, so now this function is going to be called no matter whether it is wall type sky, regular wall type, or bush. Okay, so around if wall thickness is not default, then erase around the walls so there is always a path. Okay, so if this data query attributes dot wall thickness dot get int is greater than zero if we've edited wall thickness for this this dungeon type then I'm just gonna loop over all the tiles Actually, okay, I should loop over everything that is a K tile wall. This needs to come before this other loop here. Eh. Okay, so yeah, loop over all the walls, and then for each wall tile, If what is right next to it Wait, no, no, no. These would be for everything. Every kind of tile. Yeah, <laughs> I'm like, which way should I do it? Um, yeah, so if this is not a wild tile, and 
and wait. If this is a wall tile, return. And then if it has a wall adjacent, I think I have a function for this. R tiles given a center point, a width. Yes, you fixed a nasty bug. Sweet, dude. High five. I thought our tiles was yeah, there's angle flags. Angles diagonal. Set tile none. Okay, I think it's a little Simpler than that little bit of code there. Yeah, clap, clap, clap. Nice. Okay, see how that fared. Ah, oh, didn't work. See if it gets there. What area is this? Four, four, four. Nice. Oh, so Bafu's here. What's up, Bafu? All right, now we're getting into this method. So let's see the tile. It's not a wall. X6, Y5. Step into this R tiles method. I think this is probably what's going wrong. So W2 is 1, H2 is 1, Y is negative 1. Yep, yep.
So x7, y4, it's going to be a valid pause. Is tile? Tiles is going to be wall. Auto tile equals k tile wall. So it should return true. Our oh, tiles is all tiles. That's right. So this should be R any tiles. Jeez. I should have changed all that right now. R tiles, let's rename that to R all tiles. We want song reader on GitHub. You're dreaming. You're dreaming. Maybe in like a decade. Maybe in a decade. Right? Quake did that. But. <laughs> yeah. Can't just give away the source code now. What's up, Jonah? What? How many lines are in this game so far? 65,964. What's up? We're working on the ice dungeon today. And the biggest thing I want the ice dungeon for the ice dungeon is for it to feel different. So far, the fire dungeon didn't feel different enough for me when I played through the game my last time. So um, starting on this ice dungeon here, I want it to feel completely different. So I'm playing with wall thickness first. But how am I supposed to port song ringer to graphing calculators? <laughs> Just, yeah, reverse engineering. Totally. Buegas, did you get it? What happened to Buegas? What happened? Yeah, it'll definitely look different. But first I'm working on, I'm working on things other than the look. See, that's what, that's what I'm talking about with the, with the fire dungeon. With the fire dungeon, <coughs> I was able to make it look a little different. There's a lot of art I still have left to do with the fire dungeon and a lot left to do with the patterns and stuff like that. But I'm talking about the patterns right here. The patterns immediately make it feel different. The algorithms, I mean, they're not really patterns, they're algorithms. Algorithms that shape the levels and stuff. Um, changing them really helps make the dungeon feel different. Yes, this worked. All right, cool. So now there's a there's a walkable path around this. Looks like at this bomb you can't quite bomb that yet though. So that's got to be changed. And then still we've got the uh, the lights need to be moved downward, and these lights need to be moved to the side. That's all depending on wall thickness and stuff. So let's get the wall thickness and do that there. Wait, you lost? It didn't say anything. Oh. Sorry, Vegas. Here, let me give you some points, man, to get you started again.
Okay, so I think I'll do that next. I'll work on the lights for a second. Yeah, there you go. Get started. Get started on the right foot there. So that's in create door tile. It conditionally creates the door lights as separate entities. When do I stream next time? Ah, uh, probably Monday. No, no, Monday. Sorry, Monday's the fourth of July. This is a this is an extended weekend here, so probably Tuesday. Unless I'm super hungover from partying on the fourth of July, and then it'll be Wednesday. Yep, summertime here. It's summertime in the United States, so I'm kind of in summertime mode. Living's easy, man. But there's still plenty to do with Songbringer. Plenty. I'll be working on Songbringer all those days, pretty much, except for like 4th of July and this Saturday. But sometimes I'm just lounging. Strong Pinger Beach Party Stream. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, I'll start with the east and west doors. And now if you need to calculate the wall thickness again, that sucks because I've done that a couple times already. So I should probably make a function out of that to get the wall thickness and clamp it based on, you know, maybe. Yeah, I guess it should be a world function. All right. So in pattern, where was that? Pattern, level random is where we're getting the wall thickness once. So I'll make a function uh, from world. It's called get wall thickness. It'll be near the other functions like get data, which is where? Where's the get data, man? Get data? Get any data? Get wall thickness. Huh, I wish there was a better way to, I don't know. This feels like I'm writing a function here that I shouldn't be, but I'm already using this twice. I'm using this in two places, so whatever. Get wall thickness. L for Z, of course. Int Z. World get wall thickness. Z return clamp by world data There we go. Okay, so now we got a wall thickness function. Wait, why are you? Uh, so constant thick is now just world get wall thickness. Area pause that Z. And back to the function I was just written there, create door tile. 
Wall thickness will be randomized? No, it won't be wall, it won't be randomized, but it will I get no, that's that's not right. Yes, it will be randomized in some ways, but um, I kind of want it to be partially data. So for example, the ice dungeon itself could have a range of of wall thicknesses. Like, okay, on the ice dungeon, it's gonna be between two and five. And then in some areas it will be at the minimum like two in some areas it'll be like the maximum like five or whatever so as the dungeons progress in their difficulty they can kind of be shaped a little bit more different differently um so it's kind of based on the style and the data but it's also based on randomness too so it's kind of a blend of both you know procedural and bespoke game design i guess All right, so now get the wall thickness. And then base this on the block size. So we need, oh, we already have block size. Okay, so whatever, east and west, these are both 29 on the X's and all that. So 29 is what, 20 is the width, so it's plus nine, so it's, Block size dot x plus nine. Oh, block size dot x times thick. I'll make thickness a float up here. Oh, no, 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 and it's fine. Yeah, block size dot x times thick. Yeah, whatever. Plus nine. Okay. Oh uh, yeah, same thing for you, except for this is this one's negative. Okay, so the west door might be right now. The door light will look right. Oh, what's this air? I hope this isn't a header air. Oh, it's get data. Hey, our fix, uh, air fix, uh, what's up, man? Thank you. Whoa. Thanks for saying the game looks nice and thank you for pre ordering. I really appreciate that. Dude, you don't even know how much that helps. Appreciate it, much appreciated. And I look forward to delivering an awesome game by the time this is all done, said and done. So it worked with the X here, but it didn't work with the Y, or something else happened with, the, with this Y, because there's supposed to be a second light right here. Oh, oh. Oh, I know it's wrong. This is not negative, these are both positive. Duh. Because it's West. Yeah, and then this one's going to be negative because it's east. So we'll just go block size times negative thick minus. There we go. Yes, all right, sweet. Okay, so now the door light looks good here. And on the bottom here. And if I go to this next room over here, should look all right. Yeah, these lights look good too. Nice. 
I mean, even though the lights are, are like way different in different places compared to where the doors are because the walls are so dang thick, it still looks cool. Okay, so next up I'm gonna do these um, these north lights here and south lights. We already got this wall thickness and everything rolling. This is great. So this is gonna be if it's north. Right now the positions are negative twenty. Um, that's one block size. Minus eight. Yeah. Okay, so now the north ones should be right. Let's see. Nice. South ones. Oh, this one broke right here. Oh man, that means wall thickness is gonna be need to be like per area. <laughs> uh, I just made that function in world. Oh well. Oh well. Yeah, that's fine. I can create a wall thickness variable for each area, and then. And then, yeah, and then it could be awesome no matter what level it's in. Great. Or like, I mean, it can change. Like I was just talking about earlier, it could be procedural in ways that, so some areas it has, a, it's thicker, some areas it's thinner, but also each level can have its overall wall thickness. So next up, the Dur South is currently just zero. I guess it should be block size that y times thick then, or times thick minus one. Yeah, cool. These look great. The north one's here. Let's see what these yeah, nice. These look good too. These wall these lights are in the right place now too. Yeah. Nice, it looks great. Other than now I just need to change the wall thickness to be different per area. But so far wait, so far this is actually playable. Besides being stuck in the wall at first, I don't know why that's happening. <laughs> Sorry, man. This is not affecting anything but the ice dungeon, though. You know, this is not affecting dungeon one. But yeah, dude, the DM is going to change all the time. It's going to change a lot until it's done. So. I, it's, it's exciting that you guys are doing the speed runs and everything already, but you just keep in mind, you know, it's gonna be, it's gonna change. The game's gonna grow and get better. Yeah, so here's another one where the wall thickness would look a lot better. Oh, and then this too. That's kind of interesting actually having that up there though. Yeah, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Based on the actual wall. Because 
right now. Yeah, that would be way better if they were just based on the wall, on the wall, then I wouldn't have to worry about it. Oh, yeah. All right, yeah. Yep, yep. The game's really not ready to be speedrun yet. I mean, it's not even a full... It's not even complete yet. The game isn't even finished. I mean, technically, you can finish it and you get to the end credits, but that's not at all what what I have in mind for the ending of the game. The ending of the game is going to be inside a huge tower. You climb up this big tower and you fight the last guy on top of it. So... And that's past level nine. So there's there's nine dungeons, and then there's the tower. So yeah, the game is gonna is the game is really not at all like ready for speed runs. But it is it is ready for I guess for kind of practicing speed runs, you know. But it's not really ready for like getting your route all perfect and everything yet. You know, because these routes will ch will have to change over time as the game gets finished. Okay, so if I were to make this a flexible algorithm and base these door lights on the actual wall tiles, what I need to do is loop over I guess I need a couple constants first. Yes, yeah, it definitely will change stuff drastically for speedrunning, totally. But what are what are you talking about? What are you what are you saying? Are you saying that if the walls are thicker in certain places it will What are, what are you saying exactly? Hold on, what if the wall thickness is six though? I wanna see how what it would look like if the wall thickness were that thick. Let's actually put this all the way to eight maybe. That's what create eight would be crazy. Seven. It's almost unplayable. So tiny. But what if it was eight? Ah, that's crazy. It's too much. So seven. Seven would be the absolute max, but seven is ridiculous. So really five is more of a reasonable value. Oh, and those are the extra bits. Okay. Yeah. Max wall thickness seven. No, I'm not, I don't actually want to make a wall, an area that thick. 
I'm just playing around with what is the when is the what is the absolute minimum and maximum. This might be systems. Uh, no, I guess it's more of a world thing. Yeah. Okay, wall. Thickness min. And max. Now we can use these two constants here. And in this function here, create door tile. So once again, going for like the west door, for example, we're going to go for int i equals wall thickness min i is less than or equal to wall thickness max. Okay, well, I guess it should be. Uh, we'll we'll make this a function in a second. We'll make it a lambda function or something. Like uh, we'll use t for thickness or whatever. And if Not this is tile. I guess x should be like starting at 1, let's do 1 plus t, and then y is h2 plus 1, I don't know. Yeah, so if this is not a wall, then break. Okay, this should become a function already. All right, so get wall thickness x.
Okay, so now we can use this function get wall thickness x at x. So this is dir west. It'll be x1, y, h2. Plus one, maybe, I'm not sure. And it doesn't need to capture this anymore. Oh, it does. All right, let's see how that fares. Oh, with the wall thickness so thick, it's ridiculous. Okay, let's turn that back to five. So it didn't work at all. Place those lights right back where they were before. This is direction west, yeah. So wall thickness. Oh, this one should be minus. This one should be plus. Let's try some different minuses and pluses here. Hmm. So it's at, that would be x0. This is x1. This is X2. Oh wait, oh it did work. Oh yeah, this light worked right here. Whoa, sweet. Okay, so if this one, I guess maybe this one's supposed to be minus two. Whoops. Nice. Oh, cool. Right on. So we can do that same kind of thing with this side now. And we'll make a Y version as well. So this side on the east side it's x is going to be with minus two. And this needs to be if x is less than w2, 1, or negative 1. I think. Let's check it out. Hmm, that does appear to work. 
work there. There's another room down here, which is kind of problematic. Ah, uh, okay, it didn't work here. Oh, of course. This one's minus two, this one's plus two. Okay, and that's awesome. All right, I'll be right back.
<laughs> nice. I'm running amok, I see. Turn my back for two seconds. Y'all are running amok. Okay, let's do the south ones now. <laughs> so dogs you don't do that so often no running amok yeah so this is going to be get wall thickness y um die what the hell happened to my cursor there so X starts at, oh yeah, it's W2, probably minus one. I think it's just gonna be minus one, yeah. It's the Y starts at zero. And there's no need to subtract one. Wait, no, no, yeah, it needs to start at zero base for the math and then minus one okay yeah let's see that and then this one's w2 plus one Man, i'm sleepy today oh they're both plus two and minus two. Yeah, W2, minus two, plus two. This is procedural algorithm development. That's what you're watching. All right, yes, it worked. We got the lights in the right position and if Get the north ones to do the same thing, and then we'll go test everything else out. So this is thick minus eight. No, no, no. Just thickness. Yeah, yeah. So this one's going to be height minus three at least is the starting point. And we need to make sure this is multiplied, the T is multiplied by if Y is less than H2, positive, otherwise negative. And this get wall thickness. Let's try height minus three there. We'll try minus four there and see which one works. Procedural level algorithms. Okay, so it looks like it's the left one, one. So left was... Um, wait, oh, no, wait, hold on. I couldn't tell which one's the left one because they're both left. Nice. Oh, yeah, it was the left one. And then so that was minus three. So this one's minus three. You don't need thickness anymore. 
we do need these methods probably made into something we can call nice okay let's see if it worked go to some other areas play around let's see what we can find with the lights that one looks good here we go nice it worked so in this area this is the regular area where i hadn't changed the wall thickness and we still have some good lights there some good lights here, but what if we go into another room which does have some wall thickness? The lights look excellent! So now we have some algorithms in place to be able to have some small rooms if, if desired. Let's see, actually, I should probably extend out these. position here. Uh, yep, these should be methods of area. What's up, Seb Sub? Welcome to the stream, man. How did I make this? You want me to tell you the secret for real? Are you sure you want me to? Are you sure you want me to tell you the secret? So I'm making these functions. Where should I put these? Get Rand, Tazdor, yeah, somewhere in here. Has some above, it's a good area for it. Get wall thickness, int. He <laughs> hired a coder. <laughs> uh, I wish, wish I had enough money to hire a coder. It's all smoke and mirrors. Definitely, it's all smoke and mirrors. <laughs> yep, ain't lying there. It's pretty much all just smoke and mirrors, man. Smoke and mirrors. It's smoke and mirrors all around. All that code, just this is all gibberish. Gibberish, man. Total gibberish. Yep, the real secret is just time. It just takes time to make these things. Games take a lot of time. And so my secret is that I work a lot. Too much. I work too much. I am th Thankfully, I think I am going to take a vacation this year. I'm going to take one week, and go to Burning Man, the end of August. It's going to be freaking awesome to actually take a week off and get crazy. I can't even type. <laughs> That much is certainly true. I can barely type. Int area, get wall thickness. Nice, now these are turning into nicer looking methods. Burning Man stream. Uh, I wish. Nope. Thankfully, Burning Man does not have internet. Wait. Oh, it's starting to get internet. The days of the days of yore when Burning Man did not have internet. It was so nice to have a whole week off from your phone, from your the email. And in fact, I probably will not even take a phone or anything, so 
Sorry, but no streams at Burning Man. It's, a, it's, a, it's the kind of place you gotta be there anyway. You can't just watch a stream of Burning Man. It's not the it's not the ethos. Can't really participate. It's part of the Burning Man ethos. Participation. Okay, wall thickness. X, Y, blah, blam. We've got two functions that are properly typed. See that, Teak? I can type. I just use backspace a lot. <laughs> All right, great. We got these two methods ready to roll, and they're rolling. Let's see if they make, they're still working. Nice. So Good. These are looking good. Those are looking good. Those are looking good. All the lights are looking good next to the doors. Yay. Okay. And so now, let's check this out. Now that this is all good. What's <laughs> tinfoil hat on? Uh. So check this out, if I change the wall thickness, I can just be like, okay, this whole dungeon has a wall thickness of two. This will look a lot different, but the door lights will look a lot, will still look good. There's, a, there's thickness two, same exact dungeon. Feels a lot more like the old dungeons, doesn't it? It's not as unique. What if it was wall thickness three? Let's see, it's starting to look a little more unique. It's starting to feel different. But I'm gonna push it back to wall thickness four. Oh my god, four? Shit, that's this should be the eleven right here. This is where she go from one to eleven. around but you can it does work I play this all, all of this okay let's go back to five though five is kind of interesting but of course no, these dungeons are not gonna look like this. this is gonna this is just playing around playing around um What to do next? What I, what, what's the next part? I guess I'll start making it now where the wall thickness is applied to the dungeon in general. Like, I, I shall, it'll have a range. Oh, wait, I wanted to fix these bombs real quick and also the bomb on the wall. So we can, like, you know, set a bomb here. And I'll pull all the way up to this wall out. So, wall tile. This is all is secret door. Huh. Oh, maybe it's get secret there.
Hmm. So I guess this needs to be better. This function needs to be better. Congrats, a clone geek. So I can see this maybe looping over each direction. And if we don't have wait a minute, dir is a compass dir. So if uh, D is east or west, and we're not Why are these private? Okay, so if it's east or west, Otherwise, if it's north or south, we're going to do if it is x center x. I'm going to return false for this whole thing. I think that was, this is kind of a different way of approaching the same function here, but I think it makes a little more sense to extend out what is considered a secret door. Is there anything else that calls this? There are two places a wall tile. And mountain tiles. Dang, the mountain tiles might be. I need to check and make sure I didn't break those. But
less though. Oh my god, this whole time, maybe this was working just fine and it wasn't even placing walls out that far. Wait, no, of course it's placing the walls out that far. What? Oh, I might have that logic wrong. Man, it's hard to code when you're sleepy. Sleepy today. So, what happened here? This one have a path, and that one would. I guess I'm looking at the wrong part of the code. I'm gonna I'm gonna skip this part for now. Let's turn this back to how it was. Leave what I just wrote, comment it out, and move on to something else. I'm not quite fully understanding what's going on here, so no sense wasting time on it. All right, next thing I want to make it so every area has a different wall thickness, and the the dungeon attributes oh, can have different um, can have a different like a range of wall thicknesses, and then each area has its own thickness. So, okay, let's do this. Um, and first thing we need area dot h. Get this thing recompiling. All right, so we've got get wall thickness X, get wall thickness. wall thickness y and then world is no longer going to need wall thickness actually hold on maybe I should check this all in so far it's kind of dirty though this code's crazy dirty yeah fuck it let's just do this no atomic commits today can't do atomic commits with all this randomness okay um, world.h no more need for wall thickness. Start compiling. Oh, wait a minute. I forgot to add the wall thickness variable. Int weight type, blah, 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 blah. Oh, wait, wait. Setup is also going to need to pass. In setup needs int width, int height, int wall thickness.
Okay, now the ice dungeon, I want to have a thickness, a wall thickness of two to five. So there's gonna be a couple bugs here, or not bugs, but just compilation errors due to this whole change. Um, the uh, the overworld that's gonna be in create mazy. This thing don't even care about the wall thickness. We'll just set it to default. Wall thickness min. But the dungeon Z, we want to be able to change the wall thicknesses. So we're going to get the range, room range, key range, puzzle range. Um, wall thickness range. And then we'll parse it. Now we get a wall thickness range. Now wall thickness range dot x equals clamp f about clamp by clamp by thickness range dot x between k wall thickness min K okay, wall thickness max. There we go. So we got it parsed and clamped. So much free parking, right? Now, each room is going to have its own wall thickness. Wall thickness equals wall thickness range dot x, wall thickness range dot y, and then the percentage. Ooh, what are we going to use for that? It's gonna change everything. Wait a minute, what if we back, now we could back up the DRAND U. So we go DRAND, make this um, DRAND. F01 and then pass in this wall thickness and back up the DRAND. And uh, restore it. Hmm. 
Okay. We'll see how this goes. So, what the intention here is to make it, so we've got this piece of data here called wall thickness, which is a range of different wall thicknesses, and then it just gets applied at, at runtime. It chooses a random value between those, ra those range values. Uh, this is a const. Oh wait, you don't you don't exist anymore. Looks like it randomly chose a value there. This one, oh yeah, this one's a little different. This one's tiny. It's kind of medium. Nice, this is working. What these slot things are though. could always be maximum size or minimum size or whatever so we'll do that what's up broba yep so okay so that's it for today's stream um the next development stream for songbringer is going to be next tuesday after the fourth of july weekend so i hope you all have a good fourth of july weekend if if you're in america if you're in the united states if not have a good you know what's what's another week holiday that's going on right now? I'm sure there's other holidays out there across the world. Anyways, if you're if it's summer for you and you're having a summery weekend, I hope you have a good weekend. Enjoy yourselves. This video will be on YouTube and um, uh, yep, next stream Tuesday. So cheers, everybody. See ya.